Thank you, Fernando. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so, my name is Rocío Moya, and I'm a consultant from Clara Energy Experts. And last week we talked about the small heating business models, and this week we are going to talk, uh, as Fernando just said, uh, the main findings of the analysis of electric vehicle business models. The tasks we developed to analyze EV solutions are described in this slide. And as you can see, first, we developed a long list of business models covering almost uh, all the geographic scope. Um, afterwards, uh, what we did was to evaluate and classify the different business models that we found uh, based on different characteristics such as their financial attractiveness, their contract flexibility, their innovation, replicability, et cetera. And finally, what we did was to identify the main trends and barriers of these business models in the different markets. So today's presentation uh, will be based on these main trends and findings. But uh, first of all, I would like to explain to you what we understand by a a business model, because the other week we had some problems, so we decided to introduce you on what we understand uh, by business model. So a business model, as you can see in this slide, is a strategy to invest in a technology. In this case, it would be the electric vehicle that uses different services, such as implementation, financing options, energy supply, maintenance, guarantee. Uh, as deliver mechanisms to create value and to lead to an increased penetration of the technology in the market. So once we have understood what a business model is, uh, what we did was to evaluate these uh, business models on the basis of four main characteristics that were considered most relevant for our project. Uh, these four characteristics are the ones that you can see in this slide. The first one is the financial attractiveness of a business model. And it analyzes if the business model provides to the client facilities to finance their product. In this case, it would be the electric vehicle. The second one uh, is uh, the charging station's availability. And uh, this one analyzes if the business model gives the customer the availability to install a charging station, maybe on their home, or maybe if there's one, a city network uh, where they live, and those, those kind of data. Uh, the third one would be the contract flexibility. So in this case, what we analyzed is, is if the customer has the flexibility on contract conditions. That is, if the customer can choose if they want to do a down payment, if they prefer to do a half down payment, and then the rest by quarters, like a leasing contract, and all this stuff. And the fourth one would be the innovation. Uh, this one uh, describes to which extent a business model is considered intelligent. Okay. So uh, this intelligence is not only based on the product, in this case the electric vehicle, but also on the type of contract the provider gives to our customer. So <clears throat> based on all these characteristics, 30 business models were selected in nine countries or regions all over the world, as, and as you can see in the graph, uh, the, the graph shows that the majority of business models cover not only the implementation, which in this case refers to like the sale or the accessibility to the electric vehicle itself, but also finance and maintenance services. <coughs> this table shows an extract of the long list of business models. And as you can see, the selected ones that we put in this list um, cover from solutions from simple EV services to car sharing models. For example, if you look at the first one, the electric car service, uh, this one is uh, 
electric car service uh, called car to go uh, which is developed in Spain, and uh, it's enabled to rent an EV for a specific time. So normally people use it, instead of taking a taxi, they take this car to go to go um, short distances. Another example would be the Nissan long distance. This is business model number six in the table. And this one is also, we found it also in Spain. And what it does, it allows customers to buy an electric vehicle, but they have the possibility to use a conventional car uh, during 14 days in a year. This means uh, you have the possibility to have a conventional car to do maybe your summer vacations. Because with an electric vehicle, you will have to be stopping uh, different times to charge it. So this allows you to can to use the electric vehicle with the conventional one as a normal car. Okay. So um, based on all these uh, analyzed business models, what we did was to identify five global trends that we have divided in both. Uh, sites, market trends and business model trends. The first market trend that you can see in the slide reflects that the EV market, the electric vehicle market, is quite immature as it has a wide variety of barriers. The second one is quite related to the first one. Uh, it, um, what what it, it says is that it, the EV market has attracted a wide uh, variety of, of actors of players. You can find traditional manufacturers as Nissan for example and or other new companies that are entering in the market offering just electric vehicles or electric vehicle solutions like batteries like maybe Tesla. On the other hand uh, the business model trends include the following. The first one is that the most innovative business models are designed to overcome different barriers. An example of this is the car sharing uh, business model that we will see afterwards, that it covers mostly all the identified barriers. Another trend is that new innovative technologies are a key factor. In the short term, this, reflect, this would be reflected in the electric battery improvements, so that they may, may allow a, a car to be charged faster or maybe to have more autonomy. Uh, and on the long term, what we see is that autonomous driving vehicles will, would be the transformation force. And then the last trend that we saw was that uh, the business models were especially found in the US uh, and UK and Spain. So now uh, we are going to see each of these trends in a little bit more detail. So uh, as we just said, uh, there is a wide variety of barriers, uh, technical, social, economical, and regulatory. But most of these barriers, even they are not all technological specific, they are all related with the technology. So in this sense, um, an international standardization on, on regulation would foster the promotion and improvement of this market. So some examples of these technology-related barriers are the electric vehicles long charging times. That is the first one that we see in the chart. Uh, the small driving range they have, which is the third one. Uh, the operation of charging sta stations, which is the fifth one. And also the need to have a charging infrastructure, which is uh, the last barrier that, that we can see in the chart. So um, as previously mentioned, another of the findings or trends that we, we did was that companies uh, vary from large vehicle manufacturers, uh, which have included EV solutions as another part of their business, and others that uh, are offering just electric vehicles, and others that offer a whole service of electric vehicles, but with public support. So as you can see that in the traditional manufacturers, we have companies like Nissan, Citroën, Renault, Fiat. On the electric vehicle manufacturers, the most known one, I would say, is Tesla. But we have others like Govex, Bid, Wangshin Group. And then on the other hand, the service providers, which are like the new entrants also, 
would be uh, companies like Car2Go, Better Place, Autoleaf, which is similar to Car2Go. So what does this trend tell us? That the electric vehicle business models are in a creative phase that is associated with its market's initial phase. As we said before, it's quite immature. So, but in time, what we would see is that players will disappear, and a standards and winning business models of players will be established. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, we divided uh, the business models in three categories that you can see in this chart based on the availability to overcome the different barriers. This is another of the trends that we mentioned before. So the first category, which is uh, the purchase or lease of electric vehicles, is mostly uh, composed by important vehicle manufacturers like um, Renault or Nissan that have incorporated EV solutions. Okay, they normally offer different financing options, battery guarantees, maintenance, the freedom to charge the vehicle on the house or maybe in the city network. So in this sense, this first category uh, of business models provides solutions to financing and maintenance solutions. Provides financing and maintenance solutions mainly. Uh, on the second category, that is car sharing, that it's are normally initiatives like car to go out to leave city scoot, which is on motorcycles instead of cars, offer uh, the uh, business models based on the EV sharing system, and they normally offer the following categories. That is, service, the service provider is the one who develops the charging network. The service provider is also who does the implementation, the financing, and the maintenance of the cars. And there's always interaction between uh, the customer and the provider, maybe via a phone app. It depends on the, on the business model. So uh, this example was found uh, mainly in France, Spain, Germany, and the US. And it actually provides solutions to mostly all barriers, as I said before, and we will see afterwards. And then the third category would be the combination of traditional vehicles and electric vehicles. So as we saw before, uh, Nissan is one of the companies which is offering this uh, business model that uh, what provides is that it provides a solution to the problem with the autonomy of the electric vehicle. So in this chart, you can see better uh, to which um, barrier each of these categories uh, attack. And as, as you can see, the first category uh, may or may not, because it depends on the business model. This category is the one which uh, has the most different business models. So this category may or may not um, uh, solve the different barriers, the high cost they have, depending on the financing options, the uncertainty, the small drive range in a lower way, and the need of charging stations. As some companies are offering uh, to install the charging infrastructure on their homes. Uh, on the other hand, as we said, the car sharing provides solution to all the presented barriers. The high cost. Customers just pay in this kind of uh, business model, just pay for the minutes they drive the car. So they don't have to do this initial investment of the electric vehicle. The long charging times and the need of charging a station they don't have to confront this barrier because it's the service provider who's doing, who's doing all the charging, all the installation of the charging infrastructure, etc. Also, the uncertainty and the small drive range, as we, as we said before. And then the last one uh, helps mainly, which is the combination of traditional vehicles and electric vehicles, helps mainly with the problem of the small drive range of the electric vehicles. Another trend uh, is, as in the case of small heating business models that we saw the other day, is that technological advances are opening new business opportunities for vehicle companies in order to overcome the barriers that we were mentioning before. So, uh, for example, when a, when a technology's market is in an, initial, in an initial growth phase, as we can see in the electric vehicle, 
normally there are no standardized business models. We divided them in three categories, but those categories can have a lot of different business models inside. But um, in this sense, ICT technologies are the key driver for this market, uh, especially in this time for batteries, as we said, because uh, ICT improvements would allow uh, battery manufacturers to improve charging times, battery capacity, etc. And the last trend uh, would be that the U.S. contributes to the largest number of business models to our database, followed by Spain and the U.K. So uh, thank you all for being here today. And if you have any questions, please, please feel free to un ask them now. Thank you very much.